In this video, we are going to discuss about a special property of synchronization called transitiveness. Now, because of this property, we can synchronize two threads without having any direct release and acquire ordering mechanism. To demonstrate this property, we need at least three threads. Okay, let's see an example and discuss this more. In this example, I have three threads. Thread 1 will populate the values of an array. And in the thread 3, we are checking whether the array is properly populated or not. Now it's obvious to this to work, we need synchronization between thread 1 and thread 3. We are going to have this necessary synchronization via another thread called thread 2. Now in the thread 1, after populating the array, it performs two operations on sync1 variable with memory order release. And in the thread 2, we perform load operation on that sync1 variable with the memory order acquire. Now as we discussed in the previous video, this release and acquire mechanism will introduce synchronization point here. So even though the array populated with the memory order relax, still thread 2 will see the store to the data happen before the store to the sync1 variable. Then in the thread 2, we perform store operation on sync2 variable with memory order release. And in the thread 3, we perform load operation on that sync2 variable with the memory order acquire. Now, because of this release and acquire operation on sync2 variable, thread 2 and thread 3 will have synchronization with relationship. Now, our thread 2 has synchronization with relationship thread 1 and our thread 3 have th synchronization with relationship with thread 2. Since this synchronization is transitive, thread 3 will also see the store to the data array. Therefore, this assertion will be true or it can never fire. Now, let me explain what happened here with the diagram. Now, as shown in this diagram, thread 1 and thread 2 will have synchronization with relationship because of store and load to the sync1 variable. And likewise, thread 2 and thread 3 will also have synchronization with relationship because of this store and load to the sync2 variable. Now, since the synchronization is transitive, thread 1 and thread 3 also have the synchronization. Therefore, thread 3 will see the store the data.